All right, here's the tip number two at explaining Red Letter Day skip. So hopefully my game doesn't die this time, but for Red Letter Day skip, we do Bill's Big Thrill. With that developer one, that's what I'm trying to do. We're gonna need some helpers here. Helpers aren't root. Like, your helpers aren't allowed during runs, these helper commands. But they'll demonstrate what's actually happening, which will be good. So you do developer 1, and then you do int bbox player, which will basically show where your hitbox is, essentially. Both of your hitboxes, I guess. I'm gonna remove this guy, because I hate him. And so now we're gonna hit this trigger. The APCs are gonna drive down this road to get us get him into a good spot. I'm also gonna open portal so that draws right there. Okay, we don't worry about him because apparently he has other plans to go over there. But Bill's big thrill, you know, you just put the prop up to the tire and then make it so that it goes just off like that, and then you just sort of do that to make it float. And there's a couple of special things about Bill's big thrill that some people might not know about. If you just simply touch it, as you can see, your hitbox actually gets stuck to wherever you jump or crouch and then stand back up. It gets stuck in that place. That's if you're if you're standing and touch the prop, and when you touch this, you get teleported to that point if you touch a prop. But if we were to touch it crouched, if it would work, sounds like it's not gonna want to work for me. Come on now. Okay. The, the, the trick is to hit it crouch, just to just tap W on the tire like this. Like that. And then you just jump into it like that and not have it reset yourself to fix that. You just stand up and then crouch back down, I think. I think that's how you fix it. So you fix it from doing that garbage. I swear to god, if you don't start working, I swear. There we go. And if you touch it crouched, if it doesn't freaking break, I swear to god. Okay. There we go. See now, now it's up there, and now if we do if we do a jump in one spot, we can now jump while we're crouched, and it will stay, which is key to let us abh. And then if we touch something while crouched, we teleport to it, like that. Also, wherever you crouch also works. So we do this, and then what we need to do is we need to get back up. So we just crouch, we just tap W to make it move slowly, and then just jump into it like this. Get us back up here. And then you go back into this room, and we have to go through the outs cutscene, because it resets your teleport point, which will ruin the whole trick. But yeah, you go through the outs cutscene. So once you go through the Alex cutscene, Doctor Freeman, I presume you're basically free to do whatever now, because then you can, and then make your way back here in order to get to the level transition. So here, there's a unique thing about Bill's Big Thrill. You can chain, you can chain multiple like zero G things to clip through walls and such. That happens, like you saw earlier with flying through the air when you touch the prop. You can do that again, and it'll maintain your momentum from where, where you jumped when you're crouched. So right now I have to hold crouch, otherwise it teleports back like that. So if I jump and hold crouch, my box is right there. And if I touch it with this prop, it'll 
I'll start floating again. I'll teleport back to the box and I'll start floating again. And we'll use this to clip back up here to get us in a spot to go to our, where we need to go to transition to the right part of the next level. So, this is the part that need, that's going to need the most practice and the most grinding to get consistent. Because this is ridiculously hard, okay? So I, so I recommend, like, you know, no clipping up here, making a save in this spot. And then you have to do a sequence like this. Let me make sure SV Cheats is on. So I can reset myself when I inevitably fail. So you have to do a, a sequence like this. And then bounce up here. And then you need to AFH. AFH then crouch. What that'll do, sta or standing AFH. So you do a standing AFH hop, which will set your which will set your teleportation point right here. And then you gotta stay crouched, like, like so. And if you do it correctly, if you if you do it correctly, then uh, you can actually keep some of your AB your, your AFH speed and like turn around. But if you don't do that, what you can do is you can be, sort of be up, build your speed back up, and then turn around like this. And then you want to land on this clip brush I just slid across and didn't land on top of. But yeah, on top of this clip brush right here. Is my game gonna die? Okay, good. This clip brush right here, you're gonna land here from up there. While being stuck crouched, you have to stay crouched. And the reason you land on here is so you can get on this railing. And then get back in that window. So, let me see if I can do this again. This will be quite difficult. Hopefully it isn't taking too long. There we go. FH, crouch. Like so. And then we gotta get back to that clip brush again. So we just be up along like this and like turn around to get ourselves speed and start trying to ABH and screw it up. Okay, I can actually just sort of give myself speed by doing like this, I guess. You know what, I'll, I'll, I'll do it again. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, like I said. Yeah, you do that sequence which is really difficult. And then you do like that. You see how it kept speed there? That's a way to, uh, you can use that speed to sort of turn around and do the sequence, but to demonstrate some purposes, I'll do this, like, janky way here to get back. I can get this, the ABH is started. All right, we landed on the clip brush. So what you do when you land on the clip brush is you need to fall down here, land on top of this railing, and then I have to do a couple of B hops and then land in this window like that to get back into the cutscene. I'm Alex and Mace. then you start. With you back in Black Mesa. And you just continue the cutscene. Sure you don't remember me though. Man, a few words, aren't you? And now be careful not to touch any prop, or otherwise you'll teleport back up there and ruin everything. So careful not to do that. So be very careful. Your old administrator. So you can actually be kind of slow here since you wait for Alex to sort of pick this pallet up in this position like this. Through here. And here I'm going to turn triggers on just so exactly what happens. But the setup without triggers, I might as well tell you real quick. The setup without triggers is if you look at the angles in the top right corner, you want your pitch to be negative three and then you want your X position, which is the number on the far left, on, like anywhere in negative three is fine, is to be in a seven, nine, Seven nine three six point like one ish like around there like very close to that point like seven negative seven nine three six point one so if you actually if you actually look where I set the pallet down and be like just inside the level change trigger like that essentially as you can see it's not like like about there is what you want. So it's all the way in level change. Also, we're still crouched, by the way. Important. Still crouched. You have to stay crouched this entire time, or otherwise your teleport point will come back. And then now we got to build up B-hop speed. Oh, wow. It's not in the right spot, actually. Let's, fix, let's actually adjust it. Seven, nine, three, six. 
Like right there, that should work. So this like just good. inside the thing, right there, and then now you need Beop speed. And what will happen is you'll touch the pallet the same time you go in through the level transition, which will make you appear there on the oh, next what? level. So you're gonna do like this. And then now you're gonna pause, like so. Make sure to pause to make your life easier. And then make a save. And as you can see, you're falling down here. Now this is where it gets tough, is you need to edge bug. Edge bugging isn't too hard, you just gotta slide off the edge and you'll avoid fall damage. But it's quite hard, it might take a few tries, there we go. Like that. And now that you're over here, we have to do one last final ABH. And now we're free to save, we're now free to load, make saves and load them. It won't mess anything up anymore. So we're going to start here, and then we're going to do two ABH, we're on the road, and then we're on the railing, and then we're right there. That was quite that was quite fast, but I might as well go over it for you again. So you start here, you do two hops, one on the road, crouch, one on the railing, one here, and then you land here. And now at the last part. So, you go over here, you come over here, and here's your level transition trigger. Go into it. And red letter day is skipped. And all you have to do now is save delete. And then continue your speed run like normal. After you come back and get a barrel, of course. Actually you could probably use a pallet thing as well, but yeah. But yeah. There you go. There's your red letter day skip. Explained to the best of my abilities. At least on how to perform it for the most part, but not exactly every little detail, but there you go.